What is going on everybody, this is Jay here from Maji and Jay today checking out another replica of the iPhone 10, also known as the iPhone X. This one is called the Goofone iX version number 5 and it goes for about $100 up to $150. But now the scary part about this particular model here is the fact that now it has the perfect notch here on the very top like the real deal before we had it to where it was just a straight line. And then they created the notch via software so it looked fake and you can easily distinguish it between the real one but now it has gotten a little harder so you guys need to be very careful when you're buying an iPhone 10 on the streets or even an unknown seller so be very very careful about this one guys so anyways getting a look here at the boxes we can notice how both of them have the same fonts basically now this one looks a little bit more washed out but it has to do mainly because we still have the cover um, surrounding the box right now as you can see I haven't opened it yet so I have held all my temptations just for this video and then on the side here we have the iPhone logo is located exactly in the same position and then on the back here with the exception of this one saying 64 which is the real one and this one saying 256 which is the fake one everything else is just a copy and paste it looks identical as you guys can appreciate here so you need to be very careful especially if the one you're buying at a very good deal has the 256 logo on the back side of the box. So now, with this being said, let me go ahead and set the original box aside and let's go ahead and peel this one open. By the way, on the real one, the box doesn't peel like the way we're peeling this one here. It has like a little pull tab and then you open it and on the fake one, it doesn't have it. So this is like the old fashioned boxes that we used to see, at least on the iPhone 4s. I think all the way up to the iPhone 6, they had the same style of um, film, but now it has changed. You already know that. So inside here we're going to be checking out the product okay and the box this one is a little bit harder to remove and here we have the manuals this time they did it exactly like on the original uh, box for the iPhone 10 here so we got inside just a little um, actually this time they just included a little paper here that says hello and on the back it has the welcome to iPhone with the iPhone uh, picture here so that's about it so this is how you can easily tell that you're buying a fake one because it doesn't have the Apple stickers, especially since we just um, unbox this right now. So setting this aside, inside here we have the fake iPhone 10. So, so far what I can notice about the fake one here is the fact that, well, we have a bigger chin on the bottom side, but that's pretty much it. And here we can see that yes, I got the white color model but the back looks a lot better than before. I mean, the quality, it is just absolutely different here, guys. And again, it looks a lot better. And I would say a little bit more premium when it comes to holding the device. It feels just like the real one here. So let me just go ahead and do a brief comparison. Um, here we got the front side. So let me go ahead and remove the screen protector. Uh, let's go ahead and compare body-wise here the fake with the real one and here we can see how the buttons are aligning perfectly well even the thickness of the device and then here towards the bottom side we have the um, charging ports exactly in the same position with the uh, microphones and the loudspeakers now I highly doubt that this one is going to have the stereo speakers like on the real iPhone 10 unfortunately um, we don't have that feature on the fake one then here on the top side if you can see how again the thickness is very very close as a matter of fact, I'm not sure if it's me, but I feel like the uh, fake one is actually a little bit thinner. I'm not sure if it's me, but it looks thinner here from what I can see so far. Um, on the back side, we have again the dual cameras on there, the Apple logos. Everything is very, very close, guys, with the exception that, well, the color is a little bit different. But um, here on the bottom side, we got the iPhone logo. The same thing goes here for the real one. So we can see it right there. I'm not sure if you guys can appreciate that. But there we can see the iPhone logo and the iPhone logo. So again, everything is very, very close. Now here we have the power key. The power key has this little piece protecting it just so that it didn't turn on during shipment. But this can be easily removed and then it has some residue which you can remove with a little bit of alcohol and it should go away. And then here on the middle side we have the SIM trays. This time they are exactly the same size. So again guys, very, very close replica here. And now what we're going to do while checking the contents inside of the box is go ahead and turn this thing on. And there we can see the Apple logo. And we're going to check if it has that notch on the top side. I can tell right now here from the glare that it does have the real notch, meaning that the display goes all the way to the top on the corners. And the cameras just look a little bit different. I'm not sure if you guys can see this right here. 
didn't look exactly like the real deal it looks a little bit different but not by a big margin so here we have the display already turned on guys let's go ahead and compare it here to the real deal and there we can see so far that this one just has a bigger chin on the bottom side so i don't think that this is a true 5.8 maybe it's a 5.7 or maybe a 5.6 i'm not sure but i know it is not a 5.5 either so it is a little bit bigger than before but not by a big number here and it's not i don't think it's the exact size because if we look here uh, side by side both of them had the same length and the screen on this one just seems smaller because of the fact that again we have a bigger chin so anyways let's go ahead and set them aside and here inside of the box we have the earphones okay and again this is not updated um, next we got the USB cable here okay the a pin charging port and or the cable but we have the a pin charging port on the phone itself and then here we have the wall charger it looks very very similar this time okay looks of very nice and premium quality um, so they have gotten a little bit better on the accessory side but that's about it so let's go ahead and set everything aside and talk more about these two phones all right guys so here we have both of the devices right now side by side on the left hand side we had the real one here from t-mobile this is the regular iphone 10 and on the right hand side we have the Goofone ix version number five from china so this one comes with face id recognition something that i wasn't aware of and actually it works guys when i tried it and i tried it with other people's face that were not recorded into this device and i saw that it worked I was super impressed and you guys will be as well because right now I'm about to show you that feature. So here we have the real one. You guys can see that it did unlock very quickly. And now with the fake one, you just need to point it a little bit better towards your face and it takes a second or two, but it doesn't lock it. And there we can see it guys. So this is something that I haven't seen on any other replica build as of right now. So this one was released around the beginning of March and I was able to get my hands on it before the month ended. So that's definitely great. Besides the face recognition features, being added here into the replica another great feature is that well we have wireless charging and yes guys you heard it right we have wireless charging on the replica to prove it here i have the wireless charging cradle that i use for my iphone 10 and also the samsung galaxy s9 plus so here let's go ahead and place the real one and you guys can notice right there how it went into charging mode and now if we try here the same with the fake you will notice how the battery symbol is going to turn green indicating that it is charging and there we can see it guys it does have wireless charging features something i thought it was going to never be possible with the fake iphone 10s but now here look at how close they look now with the exception here of the chin on the bottom i really wish that they could have uh, maybe made the display exactly the same way as the real iphone 10 that would have made it look absolutely incredible but nevertheless it is still a very cool looking replica guys and knowing that they were able to create that notch i'm pretty sure that in no time they will be able to get rid of this little chin on the bottom side and i think that's actually easier than creating the notch here on the top side so what i'm trying to say is that if they were able to do this they'll be able to fix this in no time. So be very careful guys when buying phones out there, they're getting closer and closer as you can tell here from this video. Even the task killer, you guys will see how it is very similar. I mean, it is not as smooth as the real iPhone 10, but it is very, very close. But now the main difference here when it comes to the task killer of the real one and the fake one is the fact that on the real one, you had to hold and press it before starting to kill all your tasks, as you guys can appreciate right here. On the fake one, you can just kill it without having to hold and press it and actually this is a little bit more convenient than on the real one to be honest with you guys uh, then we had things here like the control center it is located exactly in the same position as the real one okay so if you had to scroll down from the right side and the same thing goes here for the fake device and then here we're going to check things like the flashlight you guys can see that it does work now of course the real one is going to be a lot brighter and then we have other things on here like the screen brightness we can adjust it directly from here but now like i said guys this is not as responsive as the real one because again this is running on android 6.0 so it is not going to be very very fast and also it is just running a quad core processor with maybe one or two gigabytes of ram so yes it's going to be on the um 
I would say on the low end side when it comes to specifications, but mainly what hackers or scammers want to do out there is to sell you something that looks like the real deal. And this phone here is so close guys that it could almost fool anybody out there, especially if you're not educated about them. So here from the control center, the main difference that I see is that, well, this one says iPhone music, this one says music. So those are just the little details that you can notice right away. Um, then here on the other side, and here you guys can notice how this one doesn't close up by swiping up. You have to actually tap on the screen. But anyways, here on the left hand side, we have the notifications, the same thing here that we see on the real one. Okay, very, very close. Then we got things like settings on here. So let's go ahead and open both of the settings so that way you guys can see how close they look. So here we have them side by side. The font, the logos are super, super close guys. You can see that, but now this one, the real one says Siri in search. This one just says Siri on there. So there's just a few words that they have changed. But other than that, it looks super, super close. And here we also have the cameras. Okay, let's go ahead and open here the camera on the real one and the fake one. So you guys can notice how this one just looks a little bit choppier, okay? But look at the colors, okay? It has auto focus on the fake one. On the top here, it is mimicking to have the same features. Uh, now something I see this one added was the HDR mode right there. I'm pretty sure we have that here also, but it doesn't specify it here on the very top. Um, on the bottom here, we have photos, square mode, we have portrait and all those features. Now I'm pretty sure that this one has only one lens functioning and the other one is just there for the looks. Uh, this one of course is the true dual cameras on the back side. So again guys, I mean for a fake device, it is definitely not bad whatsoever. Okay, the camera has definitely improved as well. Then we have here the front facing cameras. Okay, let's go ahead and just open them both uh, at the same time. So you can see that the iPhone 10 has much better colors right now. Uh, look at my camera, you can see it better with the iPhone, the real iPhone 10 camera right here. So um, if you actually tap on it and find that perfect angle, it does get a little better on the fake one, but it's not by a big margin. So again, you can easily tell that the camera's fake and you guys saw that tremendous lag right there when closing the camera. So those are the little things that you will definitely notice. But just imagine guys, just imagine for a second that they at the Snapdragon 660 on here that maybe they throw a bigger battery, um, you know, maybe a little bit better screen with better resolution because right now this one has a 720p um, resolution. So you can see the pixels when you view it um, at a close angle here. But just imagine that they add just better specs. This thing is going to work just like the real deal, if not even better. Again, all they have to do is just add a better processor, better battery, and a little better camera, and maybe fix the chin. And this thing will almost function like the real iPhone 10. This is definitely scary, guys. So this is maybe a test unit just to see how well they can sell it, how well it moves around, and then they will definitely be creating the next one very, very shortly. So here we have the apps like Weather as well. So you guys can notice how they are, I would say, quite close. Uh, now this one has the time from China, and that's why you see it, um, you know, a little different. But they both use the Yahoo servers, or actually this one uses Yahoo, and this one uses the Weather uh, channel. So both of them are using different servers, but they look very, very close. Um, then we have here the uh, Videos app. So let's go ahead and check it and see if this one has it. And I'm just trying to find that videos app. But anyways, here we have it on the fake one. Okay, uh, nothing changes there. We got maps. I'm pretty sure that this is Google Maps. And yes, it is, as you guys can see right there. Uh, then we have the clock. Let's go ahead and check here the clocks. Okay, so this one has it on alarms. Let's go here into world clock. Okay, they look almost identical. All right, I'm not sure if you guys can agree with that one. Uh, then we have here wallet. Now I'm pretty sure that I have my credit cards on here, so I don't want to show you that part. But anyways, we got wallet and please, please, please guys, do not try the wallet on the fake one. I'm pretty sure that it is definitely a hack of some kind and somebody's going to steal your identity and start making purchases before you even know it. So don't use the wallet app on the fake one. Just a little friendly warning right there. So we have the notes. Okay. Um, let's see what else we got. We got reminders. So all these applications, they have been optimized to look like the real deal. We even have stocks on here. So all of this has been optimized to look 
and feel like the real iPhone. But again, it does lag a little bit more because of the fact that we have only a quad core processor that it is made by MediaTek. So don't expect anything crazy here, guys. And then we have um, other little features or other details that we haven't talked about, like 3D touch. This one mimics it. So right now, if I hold and press this for a few seconds, okay, it mimics to be uh, 3D touch. And then of course, here we have the real one. So we can see the differences right there, but they are very, very close guys. So just be very careful when you're making purchases out there. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. With this being said, I think that we have now completed the unboxing and the comparison between the real iPhone 10 and the fake Goofone iX version number five. And if you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button on the bottom. Don't forget to comment below, share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.